for a number of years we've been connecting as churches so when covid hit we already had a bit of a safety net for the many vulnerable in our city um and we, we've always had this sense that god's got a unique blueprint for our city and i think he has for every town and city it's never going to look the same is it across the board um but there's just this sense that he wants to use the resource of his church to, to see this blueprint come into fruition and so what we've tried to do is strategically put ourselves into the right place so make sure that we are represented on certain boards within the city within the council nhs a lot of those are crying out actually for, for community engagement on on various boards and as churches we gathered ourselves within certain themes so health and well-being safer communities young young people and families connected communities aid and employment gathered christians around those particular topics people who are working in those areas people who have a dream and a passion for those areas and so what was um, great during covid is that we were able to kind of just see many people um, uh, just gathered to ensure that, that food bank parcels were delivered, make sure that different things happening. But what was what was beautiful pre-COVID is um, the health and wellbeing subgroup had um, gathered together. And very often in our groups, we say, what is God wanting to do? What is God doing? And how can we get on God's agenda rather than asking God to bless what we want to do, which is often our way, isn't it? Um, and so we all sensed it was it was really interesting, actually, because God had given us a few dreams. We'd all had individual dreams about a light on in the dark city and realized that God was calling the churches to, to be there for people in crisis because of the suicide rate. Fortunately, we'd strategically sat on an NHS board as well, where they were also talking about crisis cafes. So being able to bring that together. And when, when I sit on these boards, I, I, I used to sit there thinking, you know, almost like there's all these big people with all these big titles. I'm sat there and I can say I'm representing 70 plus churches. This is the largest third sector organization in our city. So we need to have a confidence in that, don't we? And so when they say we need crisis cafes, I put my hand up and say, I think the churches could do that. <laughs> and then you hope that the churches could do that. <laughs> but like, like uh, Marvin says, you make a big offer, you make a big ask. So NHS, you know, well, the, the thing about public and private sector is that they have have actually a lot less flexibility than the faith sector but they might be able to fund something that we're able to do so now they're able to fund um uh 70 80 pounds a year towards the churches running crisis cafes every night of the week and that was able to continue throughout covid which was amazing 10 churches involved in this project and the money's going into the churches to keep the churches sustainable which i think is really powerful as well so there's just a real beauty in um just galvanizing all of our resources and our energy but strategically as well and just that real sense that that's what god wants in order for his blueprint to come into fruition so um for me it's it's strategy and that's what our strategy is moving ahead for recovery as well